Welcome to the channel, everyone. Uh, today, working on the 80 Silverado project here. And I'm going to be uh, replacing the transmission uh, in this thing. This is actually, I believe, the original transmission that was in this truck. Uh, there's numbers stamped on it that match up to the uh, frame. Uh, and the cab so I'd like to keep that transmission doesn't really add any value um, having an original transmission in a pickup anyway so I'm going to replace that that's this is an iffy transmission it's actually um, this is one of the first uh, lockup turbo 350s uh, that they started producing and it, it tried to it was like their first attempt at like an overdrive I believe and it would lock up the torque converter. Unfortunately, this one has been modified. Um, it confused me at first because I didn't understand it, but it's been modified so it's not a lockup converter transmission anymore. So someone must have swapped out the valve body and everything to swap it over. Um, I'm not convinced that um, it's any good. So what I did is I actually ordered um, a new uh, transmission so that's what we're gonna do today I gotta get this one out um, and, and the new one in I'll show you the new transmission okay so here is the transmission uh, when you order a new transmission uh, it'll come in a box like this um, and it's on a pallet it's got to be shipped truck freight they just they just weigh too much but anyway um, here it is it was all protected they had foam all the way around it um, so it was really protected. Uh, this is actually a TCI uh, a Turbo 350. Um, Four-wheel drive, obviously. And um, I went with TCI. I had a bad experience with a B&M on the 70. Uh, you can look up my video on that. Um, just a horrible experience uh, with the B&M uh, &M transmission. Um, actually, I don't, on Summit anyway, Summit Racing, they don't even have the b and I don't know if they had so many complaints or not, but TCI is pretty much all there is. But anyway, this is the way it comes. And um, like I said, it, it's, I opened it up. It comes with a little baggie with, uh, you get a few things um, for it. You get some uh, instructions, I think. Um, you get a dyno sheet. I think they dyno the... The transmissions before they leave but it's a, it's a rebuilt looks like it's actually got some decent paint on it unlike the B&M the B&M looked terrible <clears throat> didn't look like the picture at all um, this has got a nice gray or silver paint um, it looks like it's got the TCI um, sticker on the bell housing kind of like the picture so I don't think I'm gonna have to paint this which is a good thing it's gonna save me some time but a few tips um, that I learned with that horrible B&M experience. Um, I know they say look it over before you accept the transmission. And everybody knows that. And I thought I did. Um, I didn't look it over before the guy left. But I looked it over. Um, thought I looked it over. But uh, I didn't. I didn't look it over good enough. You got to look at all the, the ears on the transmission. The B&M one was broke. They sent me a transmission with a broken ear. Um, they also sent me a transmission that didn't shift very good. It would actually pop out of park. So guys, that's another thing you want to check on these transmissions before you like um, accept them and, and not return them. You want to check uh, the shifting to make sure all the shifts that goes through all the gears and it goes in the park and it stays in park. It don't just pop off. That was another really disappointing thing about the B&M. Uh, so check to make sure all the gears and stuff in the park is engaging right. I'm going to do that as soon as I get it out here. Um, the the B&M, I wasn't ready to install it. So I didn't even take it out of the box. I just kind of looked it over quick. 
and then pushed it to the side and I found out all these issues when I went to install it which is what probably a lot of people do but um, not a cheap investment around two thousand um, dollars you know for a for a rebuilt turbo 350 uh, I know a lot of people you know they're into the oh do a auto uh, 4l80 4l60 swap and everything like that well that not a, on top of the more expensive transmission you change uh, drive shafts so you on a four-wheel drive you need custom front and rear drive shafts uh, because you're changing the length of your whole drive train um, custom uh, uh, I guess the transmission mount ain't bad on these uh, 73 to 87s I think you just push it back and drill a couple new holes that's pretty easy but um, yeah a, a transmission swap gets a lot more expensive even more than uh, this and this is pretty expensive Turbo 350 is going to do everything I need to do with it. I don't need to go down the highway at uh, 75, 80 or whatever. Um, I'm just going to cruise the truck. So that's the new transmission, guys. I'm going to get the old one out um, and start getting this one in. Okay, guys, got the old uh, transmission out. And here is the TCI transmission. And it, it's a lot better than the B&M uh, right off the bat. The paint isn't, isn't perfect, but it's way better than the B&M. B&M looked like a, a kid put it on with a brush. Um, again, not perfect, but way better. I, I'm happy with this. Um, you know, if I was doing a show truck, you know, I'd probably have to paint it, but this is not a show truck. Um, it's got a little bit of corrosion on the case that I don't like. But again, this is not a, I'm not doing a show truck. I just want this transmission to work. Um, TCI, nice. Looks like a stainless cover here for the governor, which is nice. The B&M didn't have that. Um, got, I transferred my shifter. And one thing you guys want to do is check the shifts. Make sure this thing goes in the park nice and solid and stays in there. It doesn't want to pop out. Then go through the other gears. It's hard to do this one-handed, but you just want to go through all the gears. Make sure everything um, is feeling good because that B&M, um, it wanted to just jump right out of park, which was very disappointing. Um, I figured that out after I had the thing installed. So, um, yeah, again, uh, you want to check your splines. Make sure they're all nice, nice and good. Uh, you want to compare this to your old transmission. Make sure um, everything is looking uh, exactly the same. This one actually came with a modulator with it. The B&M didn't. Also, it's got the fittings already on the transmission. Again, the B&M, I had to find those fittings. So much happier with this TCI. It looks like the, they got a little uh, better standards than the B&M. Um, I did see a little mark on the spline here. Not real happy about that. I guess you can see it there. Uh, should be a new seal. Oh, another thing you want to look at, these mounting holes, especially this. You want to make sure that these dowel these dowel holes are, are nice because that's going to keep everything lined up on your transmission. The B&M had a screwed up, uh, had a screwed up hole. That might be what took out the, the seal. Um, cause once I installed it, it was fine. And then it started leaking out of the, the seal here. And I think that might've been the problem, but again, just severely disappointed with that B&M. Um, I am happy really happy so far um, on this TCI. Make sure your ears are not broken. Again, the B&M had a broken ear. Didn't even know that because um, they painted it. They painted right over the broken deal and, and it blended right in. Didn't even know it was broken. But So this thing uh, is ready to go in. Like I said, if I was doing a show deal, I might paint it, but I'm happy with the paint they got on there. Looks like they got it covered good enough. Um, 
So the torque converter, I'm going with a, a Hughes uh, torque converter. This is a towing uh, torque converter or a turbo 350. Uh, stall speed of uh, 1800, I believe, but that they say that varies depending on your, your truck and everything. And, uh, but anyway, I got to get that installed um, in the transmission next. Okay, so here's the torque converter out of the box. I just put uh, around a quart of transmission fluid in the torque converter, getting it ready to uh, install. I'm going to clean this off because it kind of seems a little dirty. Clean that off. I'll probably put some fresh uh, automatic on here and on the seal uh, before I uh, install it. So I'm going to do that and then we'll, we'll put her in. So we're going to get this Get this torque converter installed. Hopefully no issues. I did uh, test it on the flex plate. Make sure it was good. Okay, so that was a big, big fail. Uh, the torque converter uh, will not go on the transmission. Um, about six hours of trying to get this thing to fit. Uh, both me and my dad, uh, we each taking turns holding the transmission, trying to get it on. It's, it's not going on. So. We were counting splines, measuring shafts, uh, took the old torque converter from the old transmission. It slides right on, no problem. Um, we were really, really baffled until uh, we started looking inside the hub there. And I think I'm going to show a picture because I'm not going to be able to show you inside there with the camera, but I'll show you a picture. And it looks like uh, this hub, the hub right here, um, is welded off center. Um, the uh, the bottom part of the picture, you can see uh, the edge there is a lot thinner than the top part. And if you use your finger, you can really feel the difference. Uh, I think that picture is a little hard to pick up on the issue but uh, there is definitely an issue um, and you can also see there's a mark on the transmission shaft where I believe that is where um, it's it's hitting the shaft because it's off center and it won't it won't allow the torque converter to go on all the way so um, I got this from Summit Racing they're they're being really nice they're sending me a new one out uh, so I'm going to have that probably in a few days to give that a try. Hopefully, hopefully they didn't make a batch, a whole batch of these and I get another bad one or something, but, um, my fingers are crossed. Y you never know these days. So many new parts are not, they're not built right or they don't work or whatever. And it's, it's really getting ridiculous. But um, the, the hard part is going to be sending this one back. Um, it's got a little over a quart of fluid in it. And I don't think it's going to let go of that fluid very, very easily. I mean, the shape of the torque converter, it's going to hold the fluid even if I flip it upside down. So I don't know how I'm going to ship that back um, 
without just totally making a mess. But um, yeah, when I get the new con torque converter, we'll, we'll try it again and see what happens. Okay, so I got my replacement torque converter. Like I said, Summit Racing was real good about it. And um, actually they sent it out really quick too. Um, there's a definite difference. You can see a difference um, in, the, in the paint. Uh, this, this one actually, the old one actually has a better paint job than this, uh, than this newer one does. Uh, but the newer one actually came um, in the box and it had some packing. I'll show a picture. It was like fully packed. Like I, like I figured a torque converter should be. The other one was just loose um, in the box. Um, you can see on here all the paint that's been rubbed off because it was just loose in the box. I think that was a return or something and that shouldn't even have been shipped out. Uh, I think that was a return or whatever that got put right back into service and it shouldn't have. Anyway, I have already test fitted this thing and it, it fits like a dream. So um, I'm gonna fill it with a quart of, of uh, transmission fluid. Uh, I'm using this B&M Trick Shift. Uh, I had two gallons of that from um, my last transmission. I was gonna do a quick um, uh, fluid swap, but I, I didn't have the truck long enough to do a, a break in with it. So, um, I had two gallons of that. So that's what I'm using. It's supposed to be good stuff. I think, um, it's the original stuff. So yeah, I'm going to get uh, the quart of that in there. I'm going to lube my lip. I'm going to re lube my seal on the transmission. And I'm going to show you how these are supposed to go in, uh, versus what it was before. Okay guys, so we're going to reinstall this. And that, that is how this job is supposed to go. Um, it is not supposed to be that difficult. Sometimes you can get, you know, a little bit difficult trying to get all the splines to mesh up, but it should go on fairly easy. I mean, you shouldn't have any trouble, uh, not near the trouble I had with that other one, uh, getting these to go on. So, I mean, it should have been a one minute job, maybe a couple minutes, uh, you know, to get this torque converter on, but yeah, it really cost me uh, put me behind a, a week to, to get the torque converter. A lot of problems. I mean, six hours of, of installing this, taking it on and off, measuring splines and, and shaft, counting spli splines and measuring shafts. And it was, it was just a real mess, guys. It really, really set me back. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's, it's not a good situation. I hope that I didn't wreck my seal back there. I think I was, I was pretty good with it as I was test fitting it. I probably stuck that other one on 30 times on and off trying to get it to, to mesh up. So probably should have changed that seal, but cross my fingers, TCI used a good quality seal and I'm going to be good to go there. So now I'm going to roll it over to the truck here, probably uh, install the, the back half, my, my, my mount, and we'll get her in the truck now. Okay, so I got my mount four-wheel drive adapter here. Slide it into place. Like so. Got my bolts here that I had in the other transmission. Uh, 
I got two longer ones, two shorter ones here. The top are, are longer. I actually sourced those at the local hardware store. I think if you go back to my video, go back to my first video and the, the original transmission, I think I show all them. I even, I even tell the length and stuff on those. They're nice uh, bolts. They got a nice flange on them, nice wide flange. I like them. I believe they're grade eight too. There's a little O-ring that goes in the back there too. You don't want to forget about. All right, I believe she's good to go back in now. Okay, so I got the transmission uh, installed onto the, the, the engine. Uh, when you're installing transmission, guys, um, don't use the bolts to pull the whole transmission um, onto the dowel pins. Um, you, you can pull them a little bit. Once it goes on most of the way, you got to do a little bit. You can do a little bit, but don't, you don't want to, if it's getting stuck uh, real bad, you don't want to use the bolts to, you just go in there, you go clean it up. Maybe you got paint or something on those dowel pins. You got to clean it up. Another little tip here is um, on the uh, torque converter. You can see once you get it all bolted up tight, your torque converter should, should be able to spin freely. Okay. Uh, and, and before you, do all this you should check your torque converter up against your flex plate i did that already uh, before i installed it onto the transmission but you want to check your fit on, on your flex plate and your torque converter okay so now it can spin freely now you want to have to be able to you just want to move it just a little bit forward just a tad bit forward to meet the flex plate and that's what you want you don't, if you don't want your, your torque converter all jammed up in there or, or um, you, you don't want it really far away from the flex plate either, but you want it just enough, just a little bit of ways, pull it forward to engage on the, on the flex plate. And then I'm going to put bolts. I actually got the wrong bolts now. Um, the other, uh, the other torque converter had um, welded on nuts. I see these hues ones I'm gonna to have to get a, a bolt and a nut so I'll have to order that but um, yeah the transmission here um, is pretty much back in so there it is guys finally bolted back on I'm sweating it's humid it is really humid out sweating my butt off just bolting this transmission in here but they never just bolt in they, they always got a uh, pull the frame away to get all these bolts to line up uh, because they just this frame these frames these older frames they they are they they, they twist I'll move a lot so you got to use some uh, lineup tools to get all your bolt holes lined up and uh, that that gets fun especially by yourself but um, yeah it, it's in there I'm happy but that torque converter was a real setback. Probably would have had my transfer case on uh, right now if I wouldn't have run into problems with that torque converter. But 
I guess that's the way it goes. I mean, you just you just got to figure on just getting bad new parts, which is really, really disappointing. I mean, really disappointing. Um, yeah, hopefully everything inside that torque converter uh, is okay. Uh, the other one, if it would have went on and there was something wrong with it, that would have been real fun. But um, yeah, hopefully... Hopefully the transmission's good and the uh, torque converter's good. Um, I know this, this engine's proven. It's a 427. It was in a truck and it was running. Um, that, that, that I'm not worried about the engine, but... Um, it's in there. I got to get some uh, bolts for the torque converter and the flex plate. Um, it, this, this transmission actually fits better um, around the headers. I don't know if you can see that or not, but right here I had to I had to kind of grind a little clearance in that other transmission. This flange is a little thinner, but it's actually it's got a little more room. So it's not the exact same case. The case on that other one looks a little more heavy duty than this one, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, hopefully, when uh, I can get this thing running fairly soon. I mean, there's a lot of work. <laughs> there's a lot of work left to do. Uh, but um, hopefully, uh, maybe I can get it running, uh, get the cab on it, and get it running, be, and then continue working on the on the cab and body and stuff, just to get it, get it running. But we'll, we'll see, I guess. Um, yeah, that was kind of my adventure, getting this uh, new transmission uh, in the 80 Silverado project. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Maybe you um, got a few tips out of it. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I'll see you.